I ho hope you caught my initial words of how honored I am and how delighted, what a joy it is to be able to be with you, all the wonderful, saintly, distinguished uh, personalities and so many friends amongst you to honor our beloved Pujya Swamiji Chidanan Swati on this special occasion. When the ancient Hebrew scriptures refer to the saintly, righteous person, they use the image of a tree, a tree that is planted by a stream of fresh waters with deep roots so that it is not easily moved, but whose branches spread out, giving shade and protection to all who seek it and the fruits of sustenance that ensure that it is a source of nurturing vitality and flourishing for all. This is a very beautiful image. I think what above all it's affirming is that the authentic spiritual guide is one who is truly rooted within their respective tradition, deeply oh. rooted, but whose gift of protection of nurturing go beyond the context of their particular rootedness and are truly embracing of diversity and of the variety of life at large. It seems to me that this is a beautiful image of Swamiji Muniji himself, so profoundly rooted within the blessed richness of the Hindu tradition, but a man of truly universal vision and outreach, offering the world the benefit of his knowledge, of his spiritual protection, his guidance, of the fruit that with which he nurtures uh, so many of us around the world. And what is therefore that which nurtures this tree? It is of course, the fresh spring of waters. And water is a metaphor within the Jewish tradition for life itself, but above all, for the source of life, for the divine power that nurtures life. And that divine power is manifest above all in the nurturing force. The nurturing force is what we call love. Love is the spirit mm -hmm. that sustains, that gives, that ensures that there is blessing for those that are encountered. The, according to our most arguably greatest sage 2000 years ago, the most important injunction in the Hebrew Bible is the commandment to love your neighbor as yourself. But the actual verse says, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself, I am the Lord. And our Jewish commentators explain the meaning behind that because you cannot truly know God if you do not know how to love one another. And only when we love do we truly express the divine spirit. Pujya Swamiji's love is overwhelming. It is a love of the divine itself that is manifest in his own divine personality. It is a love of the divine recognized in the other, in every human person but it is also the love that recognizes the divine presence in sentient life and in the cosmos around us, in the nature that is nurture, that is the manifestation of the divine in our world. This uh, our ancient Jewish homily says that when the first human beings were created in the image of the Garden of Eden, they were taken, if you like, on a guided tour and they were told Look at all these wonderful trees and all this wonderful natural creation that has been brought here for you to be able to benefit from. Take care that you do not destroy anything, for if you destroy anything, there is no one else to put it right but you. This beautiful image emphasizes our responsibility and our responsibility for our home our natural home and everything within it. And Pujya Swamiji's own commitment to clean water, to hygiene, to care for sentient beings, to care 
above all for other human beings, mm -hmm. but for our whole environment, is a manifestation of the divine spirit that burns within him, that shines within, that shines out to all who encounter him. This pandemic, which some of us are coming out of, and we pray for all to be able to come out of in peace and in health, has highlighted many things, but it has highlighted the failure of humanity to truly respect our environment as a whole. This pandemic, like many pandemics before it, is to a large degree the result of human invasion of animal habitat, of a totally immoral trade in exotic species, and other viruses are spread through Western diets that are greedy and pollutant and spread disease through the factory farming through which masses of animals are destroyed continuously and maltreated. The pandemic should have taught us that we have to learn how to behave more responsibly, how to be more caring for our environment. And it has also illustrated how interconnected we all are, and therefore how much we have to be responsible for one another because it is right, but also because it is wise, it is sensible, it is the way our planet will be sustained and nurtured. Our beloved Swamiji is an example of the way we need to go. And May we all continue to be inspired by him and may his inspiration continue to spread in the world so that we will nurture nature and allow nature to nurture us and to nurture one another so that humanity will be blessed and enriched to contribute to a sustainable environment, a healthy environment, an environment that truly reflects our consciousness of the fact that is itself the very manifestation of the divine and the way we treat it is a reflection of how we relate to the divine and to the transcendent in our world. God bless you all.